Oh, no, it's not out. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Come put this out. It was out at first, but it restarted. Uh, again? Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Horse Ranch Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4, where the rules will be in the description below if you want to follow along. Juliana Goldblum has built her first ranch. So we have this little cabin area for one of our guests who has a infant and we have some new guests today so the charm family showed up on our doorstep we have Gemma, minerva and tomax now this is a family of spellcasters but they also have another infant so Suzanne Charm actually means this family gets their own little bunkhouse. So here is the new house. We have an infant crib, the double bed for the couple, and I made a loft bed for Emma because she is a teenager. She'll be staying with her family. And then we have the normal bunkhouse with everyone else, including the lad's coffin down here. So this is the main lodge area, and then we have one more couple joining us. This is Sachiko, Sakiko. Um, I'm not sure how to say that. Nishidake. I'm terrible with names. Okay, and then her husband, Shigira. Sometimes I look up these names in order to know how to say them, but this time I for completely forgot to do that. So they both have these family aspirations, and I find it odd that these are pre-made Sims, and they have no family whatsoever. They just have each other. They have no children, and that's quite sad, but I think I can have them adopt Greta and the other infant and probably Amy, and it will count as them becoming a parent. Okay, for some reason it didn't count when I adopted the infant, but when I adopted the child, it counted. Okay, whatever. Okay, we have them adopting all of the children on the lot. Uh, I didn't adopt the teenagers. But we did adopt the, the kids and the two infants. So that will at least allow them to complete their aspiration, even though those children are just adopted in our temporary family. Oh, and I did discover that there is a little quirk with these eggs. These hatchable eggs will sometimes come out as poor quality. And when you put them in the coop, and they're poor quality, they tend to spoil, and then the Sims will throw them away. And I thought this was a bug, but it's not. It's actually a feature. So that just means the egg went bad because poor quality eggs come from chickens that are not very happy and they spoil quickly. Now, if you put the poor quality egg in the coop, and then you have at least three hens and you call all three hens into the coop, the hens will come sit on the eggs and then the eggs become normal quality and will not spoil. So I am thinking the spoiling function is a feature because that's an egg that was poor quality that went down in quality because no chicken was incubating it. And so basically the egg died and that is actually pretty realistic. Because if you have an egg and a hen never sits on it and warms it, then the egg will die and not hatch. So I believe that is what is happening. Okay, since Dynamo is in a happy mood, we are going to try a race with him because he uh, needs to get some competitions done that are going to be difficult since he doesn't have the required skill yet. I think the Western Pleasure is probably our best bet. And we got gold. Now we just need to work on getting our riding skill up to level 9 because Dappleganger is actually ready to go into the Masters competitions. He has all of the experts defeated. Oh no, Minerva is squeamish. Okay, that was quick. 
Yeah, it's not fair. Vlad is already riding level five. Maybe I should have him turn Juliana into a vampire. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, Bluegrass has gone into labor. So now that we have more stable space, we might actually keep the foals. And I actually got this veterinary station because Juliana will be able to learn horse treats here and we can actually age the foals up eventually. It's a mod that allows you to craft it using the vet skill and I'm going to allow her to have this because some of the horses really need a mood boost and you can also do mood boosts with it. And we have a filly. Her name is going to be Pirate. That's a kind of a weird name for a girl horse, but okay. Okay, and so Pirate is a free spirit, intelligent, energetic, and curious. Okay, intense training is the way to go. The horse's skill is going up much quicker now that Juliana can do that. Oh, Suzanne aged up. So Suzanne is now a toddler and a charmer and juliana is off to her first masters competition she needs to get gold in five of them but she probably won't place in this one and we did not place oh tumbleweed is an adult now so now he can enter competition and he has such pretty pink hair oh no shigeru is squeamish i guess he will be going home at the end of the week then I'm not sure I really want to split up couples, so I'm not sure what to do with that because Zakiko is not squeamish yet. Oh, by the way, Vlad hates children. He actually got that trait because he was being mean to the kids. Okay, Dappleganger is happy, so hopefully Juliana can at least place in the master competition um we definitely won't get gold but we'll see how that goes oh look shivarat is here to visit oh we actually won gold that's surprising oh no not again come on nanny why is she not eating i've seen them eat sometimes but it just seems like they forget oh okay well no there's food here there is definitely food here. So why is she not eating? Okay, Grim. Come on. You can't take my nanny again. Of course not. Alright, fine. I'm just going to resurrect her, you know. And there we go. No more problem. Okay, for some reason, Grim has decided to clean my horse's hooves. I didn't know Grim liked horses. Oh no, there's a cursed book. Where is it? This is one of the ones you get in apartments as well, or residential units. But because I have the maintenance troubles on this lot, it allows some of the events to happen here too. I don't see it. I wonder what happens if you don't solve the event because you don't have a unit rating. Okay, apparently there's a fire in this chair. Who did it? I want to know which spellcaster did it. Because someone must have inferniated this chair. Come on, guys. Really? I want to know who did it. You burnt my table, too. Oh, no, maybe this is the cursed book. Oh, there's fire everywhere. Oh no, this is completely, I thought a spellcaster set that chair on fire, but no, there's like fire everywhere. Ah, this is insane. I've never left the curse book alone this long to actually make it do something like that. And I don't even know where it is. It's hidden somewhere on the floor and I can't find it. Okay, I don't see any more fire. Ah, that's going to really ruin yes i know you're dancing yeah why do you like fire <laughs> the firemen always do that stupid little dance i cannot go into build mode during an event so i cannot look for the book because it must be underneath something or wait wait is that it 
No, that's just the leg on the toddler bed. Okay, maybe it's under a bed or something. But how am I supposed to get to it? Well, I cannot find the book anywhere. I don't know if it's flammable and maybe burnt up in the fire, but I don't see a pile of ash for it. I see a pile of ash for every rug that burned up, but not an extra one that's unexplained. So I don't think it burned. And I actually went to manage worlds and came into build mode and moved all of the furniture. I cannot find it. My only solution is to use UI cheats. And if you right click, destroy the cursed book, it basically says you solve the event and ends it. There, and we're no longer cursed, hopefully. Oh, someone autonomously repaired my table. I forgot I had spellcasters with Repario, so I don't have to worry about the burned furniture. And I had replaced some of it too, so whoops. Yeah, and this one's already repaired too. So in order to take Doppelganger in the master competitions, I'm going to have to ride him first because he likes taking a ride around the world and he doesn't like staying on lot. So hopefully that will solve things. Why are you still sad? You are not allowed to still be sad. Oh, now May is squeamish. We're getting a lot of squeamish people this week. Oh, and for some reason, my Sims keep putting plates in the same spot. And I figured out it's this stupid industrial fireplace thing. Um, it's not putting it directly on the fireplace. It's putting it in the air. It's so annoying. Oh, no. Gemma has the curse of scrambled spells. So do you have remove curse? Although that might not be a good idea. Mm, it seems that I cannot cast Remove Curse from another spellcaster. Great! Well, Greta aged up and now she's a toddler. And she's going to be angelic. Oh, look at that sweet little afro. She was a top-notch infant. Oh no, I have a cursed book somewhere and I have no idea where. It seems to be giving me the same ones over and over again. First I had Blight like five times in a row and now the cursed book about three times. So I don't know where it is. Hopefully I can find it. Last time it just was nowhere. I could not find it. Oh good, it's in the basement. Okay, so at least... This time, we have a cursed book to destroy. Maybe I should make Vlad do it. No, Vlad is a guest. We will do it ourselves. All right, we got to tear it apart. And this makes us cursed for 24 hours. But I've never seen it actually do anything. Oh, no, a fire. Ah. How did that start? Okay. Maybe it was the curse. I don't know. But she has the wish to extinguish a fire. So that's actually a good thing. It's okay. I have a bunch of spellcasters. So they can all repair this for me. Oh, come on. There's no more fire on the lot. Stop panicking. Okay, I saw Gemma repair it and I was kind of nervous because her spells are scrambled right now so I'm trying to get her to learn the remove curse thing but unfortunately she hasn't been high enough level to remove her curses yet we really need to get our horseback riding up to level 10 but I will settle for level 9 right now it's becoming difficult to keep up with the food in this place because it seems like there are so many sims and Juliana doesn't have any time because she's doing horse competitions. So what is really handy is getting some fish from the fishing ponds and then just using this fire pit because it doesn't take any of your time. Your sim doesn't have to sit there. You just have to wait for it to be done and then serve it and then make another one immediately. Well, it looks like Gemma won a duel. Did she actually beat Morgan? Morgan is supposed to be his sage. Oh, Shigeru is 
jealous because someone cheated? Uh, is Sakiko flirting with Moira? Why? Why did you do that? Well, I guess we can separate them because I think it was Shigeru. Yes, yeah, Shig Shigeru is squeamish. So I guess we can separate them for a little while because he's feeling pretty bad that she cheated on him. Oh, Gemma learned decursify. Good. Now we can get rid of that stupid curse, hopefully. All right, she no longer has the curse of scrambled spells. That's good. I am having so much trouble keeping up with the laundry. It's because they keep leaving piles of clothes everywhere and the hampers keep getting full, but nobody does the stupid laundry in the hamper. Uh, Dominic is now jealous? What is this cheating? Who does Dominic love? Oh, Moira. Moira is the one that was cheating, okay. That makes perfect sense because Moira was flirting with Sakiko or Sakiko was flirting with Moira and Moira actually reacted positively. So now they're both in the doghouse. Well, neither one of them is ready to go home. So that might prove to be an interesting thing. It seems the live-in ranch hand will do what I ask him to do, but for some reason the nanny was not. So I just went ahead and froze her hunger motive because I got tired of her dying. I can just resurrect her anyway, but it's kind of annoying to have to fire her and rehire her every time because they don't automatically reassign her. Ah, there's another fire. Okay, it definitely is Juliana. I think the cursed book is just making her start fires because she's still cursed. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I haven't seen it react this much the last few times that I've seen the cursed book. It almost did nothing. But this time it seems to be doing a lot more. Okay, quit panicking. The fire is out. There is no reason to panic. Like I have to wait for everyone to come out here and for everyone to panic. Okay, come on. Just end the fire event already. Oh, no, it's not out. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> come put this out. It was out at first, but it restarted. Uh, again? Okay, what is up with this? I'm going to be in stuck in a never-ending thing of fire. Thank you. Okay, well, that was some event, so hopefully I can get everyone to sleep now without another fire starting. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>